Hey, what's up you guys? So I have something that a lot of you have requested through my Instagram and something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, and what it is, I'm gonna show you my LeBron sample collection. Um, right now it's just eight pairs, but there are a whole lot of gems that you don't see very often in my collection. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the first sample that I got, which was the LeBron 9 Elite Cannon samples. Um, it's, this was the first sample I got. I think I got these my either junior or senior year of high school. Um, I really loved all of the Elite samples. These, the, um, the Reverse South Beach and the Statue of Liberty. LeBron and Elites, I really liked all of these, but these were my first. I think I got these off of Soul Supremacies eBay. I'm pretty sure that's how I got the first one, yeah. So that's the first one. Um, at one point, I did have the regular LeBron 9 um, Cannons 2, but I have let those go over the years. And the second one that I had was these right here. Um, I want to see these also came from a Soul Supremacy auction. Um, I just know that these were second. But for third and fourth, I'm not sure which one was like which. I just know that I got them a few years later, but I really, this is probably one of my favorite colorways of the LeBron 9 was the, the Year of the Dragon or the China edition. I don't know which one you'd want to call them. I've always liked the little flames that have been right here. And back when Nike Elite socks were still a thing, I had like the ones that matched these. I'm pretty sure they were custom. I don't think they actually came out like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't know enough to speak on that. But yeah, so you'll probably guess what the next two that I got were. But these, like, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait until I show you all the rest of these. But um, I'm just gonna grab the first one that's closest to me. Um, so these right here, it's the LeBron 9 Elite Dunk Man sample or tennis ball. Um, this is obviously the brightest out of the pack right here. Um, these are, this one's a size 10 and the others I think are all at nine and a half. So I can't fit any of these anymore, which is part of the reason why I'm thinking about letting just the, just these go simply because I can't fit them. And I mean, there's just not really a point for me because I do like to wear everything that I have. But yeah, so if you know these are the third, you already know what the fourth is. And I can't remember, I can't remember where these came from. I just know it was an eBay auction, maybe two or three years ago. Well, no, I, I don't know, I don't know. Like anything since after 2016, it's just all a blur to me. Um, but yeah, these two, I'd say these are tied for my favorite LeBron 9. Um, colorway, the Big Bangs, and these, the regular LeBron 9 Big Bangs are supposed to be coming out in um, 2022. I'm looking forward to that and I'm hoping that people don't like them so that I can pick them up for close to retail. Um, I've always liked, this is from the 2012 Galaxy Pack or All-Star Pack. So this is back when the phone posits came out, the phone posit Galaxy and everybody just lost their mind. There were people trading cars. For them, it's just one of those things you had to be there. It was an insane time. Um, but yeah, so with all four of these out, like, it's really like, it's really weird to me that I have these now. Cause I remember back in like the early, early days, maybe like, let's see what the sample year for these was. Actually 2012, so like 2013, 2014, back when I was just, you know, looking on Instagram, I remember like all the people, like the perfect pair. Um, I can't remember this one guy's name. I just remember he had leg tattoos and all of these and other LeBron samples, like, Anybody who was a big time sample or LeBron collector had these four. And to me, it's crazy now that I have them. And it's even crazier still to me that like, you know, I have them and it's just, I don't know, like I would never have thought I would have had any of these. Like if you told me back in high school that I had any of these, I would have thought you were crazy. I would have thought you were smoking something. But yeah, these, this is something I'm really glad to have in the collection right now, all four of these. Um, I just wish that they were my size. And I know that maybe, a year or so ago, there was like a size 11 collection of these that was on the market, but I slept on those because I was worried about other things at the time. Yeah, so that's the first four. I'm trying to think what the next one I got was. I think, well, that would be these. The next one that I got was the LeBron 9 Low, LeBron Palmer, and these are coming out um, the summer of 2022. 
according to a few different places and i'll be interested to see what the differences are between the release pair and the sample pair if there are any i'm not sure this will show up on the camera or not let's see if the light will get in there but it's got like an arnold palmer with the lebron james logo on here which is why they get the nickname lebron palmer and i remember whenever lebron won the championship whatever year i suppose it was probably 2012 i want to say I'm just going based off what's in here. I can actually remember the year off the top of my head, but I remember when everyone the championship and he had these on a shirt that said witness and a little hat. Or maybe, I don't know. I just remember like he had a whole little fit and there was a reverse colorway too. Um, And I got these actually for a pretty good deal. Like this is maybe two or three. No, this was like 2019. So two years ago, Um, I met a guy and I got these for a really good deal. I'm just gonna say that. I mean, compared, like, whenever these come out, it'll be a horrible deal, because, you know, I overpaid, but... Um, I remember that I drove to Myrtle Beach with my best friend to pick these up from the guy, so this one has a lot of memories. Um, so that's five right there. Um, the next one... Um, yeah, this is probably my favorite LeBron 9, like, including the samples. Is to watch the thrones and these also are coming out pretty soon supposedly this month sometime and i really want to get those as well um i do not have the glow on the um dark soul i think there's like three or four of the black um watch the throne samples for different versions um but this is another one that i remember like in the perfect pairs nice um nice kicks episode i was like oh man like one day i gotta have this shoe and at one point I did have two pairs of these, which thankfully I let one of them go. Cause these, since these are coming out, these are gonna go way down in value as well. Which I mean, you know, it's a good and a bad thing. It's bad for all those collectors who overpaid, like and paid like a grip for these. But it's good for like, you know, the LeBron fans who can't afford to pay, you know, a few thousand dollars for, you know, a shoot they really want because it gives them the access to get something that's meaningful to them. Because this one, you know, let's get going with Watch the Throne album. This really does mean a lot to me. Because in the 2012, you know, 2013 era, like, the Watch the Throne album, like, it, it had a lot of impact. Like, I don't know, it was, it was a crazy time for this. But yeah, I'm getting too um, caught up on these. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one. Um... <laughs> And these are not my size either. These are a size 11 and a half, but these things are so beautiful to me. And these are the red suede LeBron 10s. Now this is something, this isn't another one that the perfect pair had in his, um, his nice except. So I want to say this is even how it starts off with one of the videos, but like he had the black laces. This pair I bought used. It only came with the laces that it had, unfortunately. So I do not have the black laces, but I do have the black lace lock, but this shoe, like, I know the samples and materials are like, you know, probably more premium, but this shoe, like, it's just put together so well. Like, even though I've, I've worn it myself too, even though it's been worn a few times, like, it's just like, oh man, the materials are just amazing. Um, and since I can't, I can't fit 11 and a half and LeBron tend to save my life. So this is something I'm thinking about getting rid of. Um, Cause these and the LeBron, not at least they're all on my eBay account right now. And it's not that, um, you know, I'm trying to get out of the LeBron samples or anything. It's just, there's so much more stuff out there that I'd rather um, get. Like I'd rather get, well, you probably can't see, but the Ben collection, the Ben 23 for the Jordans, I'd rather complete that set. Cause that's something that I've always wanted since like middle school. So that's the reason why I'm letting a lot of these go. But yeah, this, this is an amazing shoe. And it's another one. I might have already said this about this one too, but this is another one. Like when I saw the perfect pair, pull these out, I was like, oh man, like, like I, one one day I gotta get these. There's another one too. Oh man, I can't think of what it's called right now. It's like a black suede. Maybe it's Carmack sample. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's so many good LeBron 10 EXT samples. But yeah, so that was seven, I think. Or yeah, seven. So the last one, which is something you've seen on here before, but it's, it's hands down the craziest pair of my collection. It's the LeBron 9 King's Throne sample. And like when these, I didn't know these existed until like 2015. I can't remember who posted these. Somebody posted them on Instagram. I'm gonna have to go look. 
because now I want to know. But somebody had posted them on Instagram, and I was like, are these customs? Like, what are these? And they actually were a sample, and I thought they was the most insane thing. And then, you know, right after I had got these, that's when they did the, um, the LeBron, what was it? The vote back, like, whatever it was called, where they're trying to vote one of the samples back. And the gold ceremony tens ended up winning that. Um, like these to me, this is one of my favorite shoes. Like even if these end up coming out one day, this is still gonna be one of my favorite shoes. Um, Cause once again, it goes with the Watch the Throne album. And like I let go of quite a lot to get this shoe. Um, I traded probably like six, seven pairs of shoes and some Supreme items too, just to get these. But this is probably one of the crown jewels of my collection. And this is one like these two, like I don't care how many times they come out, these two are not gonna leave my collection. Like they, they mean a lot to me. The only thing I am afraid of with the LeBron nines is like the Air Max bubble popping or degrading over time. But with these coming out, then hopefully they'll be able to do some kind of, you know, midsole repair or midsole swap in the future. But yeah, so that's all eight. I'll get them all out here on the table so we're hopefully you can see them all. But this is something I want to do to show a little bit of my collection. Because since I am thinking about letting a few of these go, I figured I'd let y'all see them before they get out of the collection. Um, yeah, so that was the eight pair of my samples. I'm trying to think. I have some LeBrons that aren't samples, like the LeBron. Um, hey, what's up, you guys? I don't know why, but the camera just randomly shut off. The battery wasn't dead or anything. It just cut off for no apparent reason. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you all how I have them in the room. It's kind of like a little bit of a sneak peek into my collection because it's how I normally have it set up. But yeah, here's most of the LeBrons that I like and LeBron samples. And a few phone posits. And I had a pair of the Nike Easy 2s up top. But yeah, I just figured I'd show you all of these before I sign off. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'm out. Peace. Peace.